Sammy comes out. I mean, Roman comes out first. Champion came out first. Huge boos. I mean, grown men doing the thumbs down, booing as loud as they can. I, it was awesome, awesome to see, you know, a heel getting booed. Followed by Sammy coming out to a humongous, humongous response. You know, you could see he was very emotional. His whole family was in the front. This is a huge moment for him. The biggest moment of his career. And this is a guy, I, I mean, if you know the story of Sami Zayn in professional wrestling, this is such a great milestone to have. For many, I mean, this is, this is the pinnacle. You know, you're in your hometown. You're, you're in a packed, jam-packed, historic location to watch wrestling against one of the greatest world, modern world champions of all time, probably the greatest of all, all time in the modern era. I don't think anybody's been this dominant uh, with a push, you know, from the beginning of his career in WWE. But, I mean, especially since the pandemic, this guy has transformed his entire character and his persona, and he's really solidified himself as a top guy in the history of professional wrestling, whether or not you like Roman Reigns or not. Listen, I was not a fan of the previous version of Roman. I wasn't. And a lot of you weren't either. So a lot of you were, but a lot of you weren't either. And it was very polarizing. He had the John Cena effect happening. Half the people there were cool. The kids liked to see him. The women were into him. Some of the guys were into him. But the hardcore fan was rejecting him because they felt that he was getting pushed onto us. Well, a little tweak goes far. And this guy has gone far. Two titles. We know he's facing Cody at WrestleMania. We know that that's in the cards. So what happens now? The Sami Zayn situation was only supposed to be a couple weeks. Turned into a long storyline. They did an unbelievable job with this story. But now we're here. We're at the climax. What happens? Well, what happened was Roman beat Sami in Montreal. The ending, you know, could be up for debate. I enjoyed this match. I like this match. This is my opinion. The right person won for storytelling reasons. The fan in me would want Sammy to win. But if we're looking at it from a business perspective, there's a number of reasons why they chose to do what they did. And unfortunately, it has nothing to do with the fan's wants. Is Sammy the guy? Listen, man, in my opinion, again, in my opinion, is it a guy? Yes, at a different time. Not a month before WrestleMania or six weeks before WrestleMania when you already have that plan for Cody and Roman. You've built to this. And you have the next couple months planned out. So now you take the title, let's say hypothetically, off of Roman, you put it on Sammy. What happens to that WrestleMania match? What happens to Cody's big push? They need to create top baby faces. They've already done it with Sammy. Sammy, Sammy is solidified as a beloved babyface like a Brian Danielson. But Cody has yet to be solidified as that. You know, it's still new. We, we've seen Cody get booed before for being a babyface. They had to be so careful here. And unfortunately, Sammy got really hot in a time that they can't pivot. You know, and I, I saw the argument. Raj Geary from Wrestling Inc. Uh, former wrestling? Formerly of Wrestling Inc.? Currently of Wrestling I don't know. I got to ask Raj what he's been doing. Consulting? I don't know. Uh, Raj put it out and somebody, you know, there was a comparison. Somebody gave a great comparison to, look how many times they flipped the title between Mankind and The Rock before Austin got the match at WrestleMania with Dwayne, right? But couple issues here. One, you didn't, you had not solidified the Rock as an unbeatable force like he did with Roman. Roman's been unbeatable. 900 days plus. You haven't told the story that this guy has a streak. You haven't told the story that he can't be beat. You haven't, you, the Rock was not the most, at that point, was not the most, you know, one of the top world champions of that time frame. He was still new. You were still creating him. You also didn't have a baby face that has a possible issue getting over if he if he's not facing Roman Reigns. There's a number of variables here, and not everything is cut and dry. 
You can't compare the two. Listen, I, again, I would have loved for that, for, for what a celebration that would have been. I would have loved it. But you have a number of things going against you. Number one is that streak that he has. You know what somebody's brought up to me? I don't know if, if my producer's audio is working or not, but let's see. Is your audio working? Uh-uh. No, it's not. Again, there we go. Somebody brought up, this is hysterical. And again, I, I, I don't agree with this, but it was a funny comparison, right? You remember when Ryback got hot for that short period and he faced CM Punk? And people were saying, well, you know, Ryback should win the title, but they would have never done that because there was a streak happening. Not an even comparison, but again, sometimes there's other variables that come into. The other thing, unfortunately, okay, when you're marketing WrestleMania, what's a better, just a better billboard? Is it Roman Reigns and Cody? Or is it Sammy and, and Cody? Listen, I, I get it. I get it and I wanted it. But I, I, have, I could also understand the business reasoning behind it. I don't think Sammy's going to get hurt by this. I think Sammy's going to uh, do unbelievable. Flourish. I think they'll eventually turn this into a tag match of sorts. If they go down that way, he could still win something. But you could also come back to Sammy and Cody and Roman. The other suggestion here, and I'm seeing a ton in the chat room, and I appreciate all the feedback. Why isn't it a three-way? Well, if you do a three-way, Cody's getting booed out that building. I, I, can't, I could not. Listen, I, I love Cody, but I couldn't cheer for him if I'm there. I'm cheering for Sammy. I want Sammy to get that WrestleMania moment in that, in that situation. And if you don't deliver that, you're going to be disappointed. And if you, don't, and if you do deliver that, what did you do, just do to Cody? Nothing good. Nothing positive. The only one looking good in, this, in, a th in that three-way is probably Roman. Because you'll probably figure out a way that you, that you don't beat him. The other option is splitting the belts, right? I would have loved that if that was a month ago. Or they had done something with that. Roman doing double duty, losing each title at WrestleMania. Is that a possibility? Yeah, but, you know, you're hurting one of those guys that wins it. Either Sammy winning won't mean as much because he Cody also got, got the title. Or actually, the most, to be honest, is that Cody's not going to mean as much because everybody's championing Sammy. I, 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 they're in a booking, they booked themselves into a corner. And that, that's my only issue here with this. I, I, I mean, they've, everybody worked super hard. That match I very much liked. Yeah, wacky finish, you know, they had to get out of it, run in after run in, you know, they did all this wacky stuff, but Sammy still looked good. I don't know what that next match is. And I'm hoping that Sammy gets more opportunities in the top tier of that roster. He's very well deserved. But if you remove him from that bloodline story, how much does it matter? And I and I think they're looking at it that way. Their goal is that Cody needs to be made as a top, top babyface in that company. You don't get an opportunity for, for Captain America to become your world champion too often and people are going to like it. And we're at that position right now. You know, sometimes this happens. Not often, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes you could pivot. Other times you can't. I think in Danielson's situation with uh, when he had the three-way with Randy and Batista, nobody wanted to see either one of those two win. They all wanted Danielson to win. So yeah, the smart answer was let the people go home happy. Nobody's going to suffer from this. Batista's going to go away and Randy doesn't care. These are all those little parts, right? You gotta. I, I, I always try to think a couple steps forward in my, in my wants. As a fan, yeah, man, disappointing. You love the guy. You want to see him do good. But you know, as someone that's covering this and someone that that understands the business aspect of things, I'm not saying wrestling, just in general. I'm a marketer by nature. I get why they did what they did. But now the question is, where do you go and how do you do it <laughs> after this? How are you going to pivot now to Cody 
and remove Sammy out of the equation for Roman, still keep Sammy hot, and have people not reject Cody. So far, they've done a decent job. Will that continue? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you. I hope it works well. I hope they can pull it out. Because Roman has really become one of the greatest in that company's history at this point. 